during increment time so i said you know i'm doing blah 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 of mm-hmm. course from the last year this is what my work has been it is more now so you know i think i deserve more mm-hmm. so i was shocked with the answer he said but why are you married now and i said one second did you really say this yeah. she who has conquered her fears has truly set herself free as humans our biggest gift to ourselves is our personal authority things that we grant and allow ourselves however on the road we do get distracted sometimes by the external voices of genders biases judgments and sometimes with our own internal fears however we create we move we dust off sometimes stirred but definitely not shaken building a new road map to their own success and creating their own narratives on unbound specials we are acknowledging and celebrating such humans women who have dared to dream and who have dared to succeed so let's get started on this special episode this month long series of celebration of womanhood with unbound specials starting her career with fm tarka my first guest today on the panel sakshi bhat somani presently is a mompreneur and one of the leading voices of india as a voice artist she is continuing to dabble in her creative pursuit while also acing her entrepreneurial skills by running her own e-commerce platform which sells bed linens and home furnishing humra.in joining on the panel my second guest today is preeti goyal an ace banker and finance expert with over 2 decades of experience in the industry and some valuable insights given she is now donning the role of women entrepreneur with the launch of prisha wealth management i welcome them both and i'm excited to really hear that what success womanhood hardships biases and their journey means to them so let's welcome them both preeti and sakshi and get started to unbound together So welcome yet another episode yet another series of documenting some absolutely unstoppable humans life and today i am stoked i am happy i'm honored to have the two lovely ladies sakshi and preeti welcome to the unbound special sakshi thank you thank you so much mamta pleasure to be here welcome preeti thank you Preeti. so much mamta thanks for having me here absolutely and it's an honor and i would just want to start right from the start we are talking international women's day yes. month year yes. and yes. i would say life <laughs> so your take should we be actually celebrating such occasions uh you know it's like ek po bolte hai na jaise that every day is special you know hmm. it's just that you know you were born you're happy to be born i celebrate myself every day but it's just that the birthday gives you a reason to be extra special mm-hmm. to yourself and i believe in international men's day as well as women's day because wow. we both are you know we have to exist together you know to maintain the balance of this ecological system and none is above the other yeah. i feel so equal nahi hai you know i'm sorry a lot of people say what and i get popped eyeballs and say no no but you know aajkal equality equal nahi hai men are from mars women are from venus and we are given equal opportunities but we deal with them differently mm-hmm. we have our different strengths we have our different weaknesses and we try to coexist each other we balance each other yeah so it's important to celebrate both the days it's like might as well na mm-hmm. valentines day pe zaruri nahi hai that we have to have candle light and roses but just everybody is feeling the love celebrate enjoy love nice Thank well said what about you preeti your take I think it's just a reminder to ourselves that uh, pamper yourself one day mm-hmm. uh, because you won't find time in the rest of the 364 days necessarily. So I think it just makes you it's a reminder. Mm. Makes yourself feel special mm. and let somebody 
else wants to do something for you let them do it wow <laughs> is as simple as that you've nicely put the responsibility <laughs> on others also so well said and absolutely keeping up to that spirit we are here curating this special series yes. with our fellow women women who dare to dream women who have dreamt and women who have really achieved and with both of your stories today i take this honor to be lauding applauding all the women in this room and outside who are just standing up for their, themselves so welcome to the show once again thank, thank you. you thank you for and having me and i would want to get started right um, from the very pertinent question of inclusion while there is a lot of dialogue there is a lot of lip service preeti your take especially coming from finance and banking background sector how has it really played up for you right <clears throat> i think for me the only thing which matters is a level playing field all i need is give me a chance don't hold anything back from me uh, make it as tough as you make it for any other person including a man um let me deliver what i think i can deliver to you don't hold up anything for me or don't hold up anything against me at least not on the basis of gender yeah. right it could be pay parity it could be power it could be position it could be authority it could be accountability it could be a challenging assignment don't decide for me let mm. me decide whether i can do it or not and i can prove you wrong any day mm. uh, when we hire people as an example a very simple example i think still the mindset is experience over ability mm. long back i transitioned myself to look for ability over experience i rather believe in you as an individual rather than what your resume carries because i know if you are able then you can deliver anything absolutely so for me inclusivity is all about making it level playing field for a man or a woman for an experienced person or an able person mm. that's what it means to me very well articulated and you coming from media entertainment <sighs> and now you know taking this whole thing on yourself ki ab mujhe entrepreneurship bhi karni hai ab mujhe और बड़ा चैलेंज अपने आप को देना है सो हाउ हैज इंक्लूजन डिड यू हैव टू रियली मेक वे फॉर योर सेल्फ एवरीवेयर सी यू नो आई वुड लाइक टू पिक अप फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ पे पैरिटी आई रिमेंबर इट्स इट्स सो अमेजिंग दैट यू नो आई कुड थिंक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ लॉन्ग बैक व्हेन आई वाज इन माय रेडियो डेज वन ऑफ माय सीनियर्स यू नो द मार्च अप्रैल इंक्रीमेंट टाइम व्हिच वी ऑल हैव सो द पे पैरिटी इंक्लूजन वाज देयर यस नाउ नाउ इट्स मोर एंड मोर देयर नाउ वी वी हैव द गेट्स ओपन फॉर ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ जॉब्स ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ पोस्ट एंड वी आर ट्राइंग आवर लेवल बेस्ट टू यू नो पुट इन however we are trying to balance home as well as work both hmm. where a man needs to get up get ready and leave for office with hmm. the towel on the bed hmm. a woman runs the washing machine make sure the kitchen is set make sure the house is set hmm. while coming back what all is required and then she leaves but still she has the gates open pay parity i remember so during increment time so i said you know i'm doing blah 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 of hmm. course from the last year this is what my work has been it is more now so you know i think i deserve more hmm. so i was shocked with the answer he said but why are you married now enjoy your work why do you need increment and i said one second did you really say this i said so 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 enjoy your work so i think this this inclusion which we hear in every field made be corporates made be theater made be radio made be freelancers also there's always more you know more numbers more zeros on the paycheck for men yeah. than for women and i don't know why just because they're married so they have a man to take care of them we are very thankful for that but at the same time i'm of that belief that i should be equally supportive to him why you know why put the entire burden on the man and this is shocking like in yeah. today's day and age where actually that may not be even the case it could exactly. be a very assumed or yeah. like a presumed thing yeah. to say that okay you're married and you're definitely taken care of it may <laughs> just not be the case it's, at it's all it's crazy yeah that women is running yeah. the show whichever way or or you know maybe she's earning more or maybe she's earning equal <clears throat> maybe there are other financial circumstances so yeah. w- would you like to add something yeah, i can say you know <laughs> for years together i think i kept myself very agnostic of the differences hmm. consciously because i think i wanted to prove myself i wanted to learn i wanted to deliver and i wanted to do it all my way hmm. uh, so that i can be up in the ladder as the time passes by i left the corporate industry uh, from you know the the job of a bank recently the first thing which came to me for many people is are you taking a break is it coming oh from God. men not necessarily <laughs> okay. i won't hold men harder on this one but i think 
first impression everybody got in general was am i taking a break dude no i'm not taking a break i've just decided to start something on my own so that's the uh, mindset in general people have yeah uh, i didn't spend time explaining it to them i didn't spend time clarifying it to them i said why don't you wait and see anything new that somebody starts somebody needs to take a little bit of time yeah and i'm in that process and when the things come up you will get to see yourself whether i'm taking a break or whether i really mean to do something which i have been wanted to do so going back to yeah. her there's a lot of ownership on us definitely but um, i think very early i learned the art of keeping myself away from it mm. and do what i wanted to do mm. and uh, take some of these comments in the stride yeah. over a period of time no interesting that you say that preeti and i would uh, like to come to your viewpoint on this as well that judgment we are very fast and very unabashed and very quick yeah. to judge women and to that extent that the conditioning has gone or seeped in so far and thick that even women have started judging themselves forever like i mean am i doing it right is it the best is more is required what are they expecting from me have you seen yourself being held back with that narrative oh yes uh, absolutely after becoming a mom you know the mom guilt it's always there zyada kaam kar liya to guilty ho rahe um now today for example if i get home late and by then my son is already home oh yeah every day i pick him up you know today i'm not there or maybe i don't make 10 different snacks every week you know i'm not experimenting with healthy food and eat, you know minerals bhi hone chahiye vitamins bhi hone chahiye ye bhi hona chahiye i don't because somehow a i don't know so many recipes <laughs> b i don't know we are somehow you know not not in that frame of mind also ki i have to be a 100% hands on mom no because yeah. then i'll lose myself yeah and if i lose myself today what do i have to give to my child hmm. so i like to strike that balance that i make myself also happy so that i can spread that happiness yeah but yes when i'm not able to do it it's you like do. suppose when it's like aaj kya bane kuch nahi nahi samajh aa raha just have aloo ka paratha it's yeah. the easiest yeah i do judge myself ki you on know those. you know my friend does so much and you know this one does so much but what do I, but anyways you know yeah. we've learned to it's, live with it it's like they say you know the you, the pain doesn't go away but you learn to live with it, live with it. so there are some things you've accepted and you've learned to live with it yeah so but uh, coming to you preeti because you do have a tendency to take it hard on yourself also yeah. because maybe that's the kind of home ground that's the kind of benchmarks that you have uh, you know got in life how do you judge or validate yourself so i'm the youngest in the family and um, i've got the family is very illustrious very well to do very well read so it wasn't easy for me to not to give you know it it wasn't simple for me to make an easy going life i had to make it hard going life hmm. purely because um, there was no judgment at home let me be very clear but it's just that i wanted to be uh making sure that i satisfy everybody including myself so very it early is self induced in a way it is a lot self induced uh because i have always competed with my own self and i don't know when did it start actually i don't remember mm. i was acing in school i was very well in the extra curricular so maybe it was in the genes when i grew up having said which um over a period of time i realized that am i competing with somebody in the world yeah the answer came back no no you're competing with your own self do i have to be better with somebody else do i have to make my career better than somebody else i think i realized very early no everybody has its own journey sooner or later everybody gets what they want mm. just be patient i'll give you one example um, for 7 years i was doing delhi bombay mm. between 2016 and until recently mm. and uh, for self Your work for work, work. work i was work. working in bombay but my family was in delhi it was upon myself how i lead my life professionally mm. and personally but i took the hard way mm. so i would leave my home at we hours in delhi at 1 o'clock i was on road mm. to take a early morning flight yeah on monday morning and i would come back on saturday morning again we hours when the world was sleeping i was on the road yeah now one day one of my supervisor asked or a leader asked me or my boss asked me why do you have to take the odd hours mm. i allow you to be in the office by 10 to 11 i said a i'm not taking your permission i'm not asking for your permission mm. b 
I'm competing with myself. I know that all the people in the office are going to be in the office by nine o'clock. Why should I give myself the leeway to not be in the office in time? Hmm. It's my decision to be staying in Delhi and working in Bombay, hmm. which means I have to make it happen. So to your point, um, I think it's just over a period of time has become in the DNA that yeah. don't give reasons to the other to be not being able to have the same standards as others would have it. Hmm. Because others would be judged by what they bring on the table. I should also be judged what I bring on the table, not because I'm doing uh, up and down or because hmm. I have a family to take care of, because I have a professional life to take care. Yeah. So I took all of it on me yeah. just to make sure there's a level playing field. Again, it goes back to my basic mantra. Basic mantra. Yeah. Does that come from being a sportswoman at heart. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm very competitive. I'm very ambitious. Mm. Uh, and I have no qualms about it. And yeah. I think that has made me going. And I must say, I have worked with best of the minds in yeah. my corporate life. People in both the organizations, uh, major organizations that I've worked with, which are the foreign banks, I think people are very, very hardworking. Mm. They're very well to do in terms of their knowledge and what they bring on the table. I didn't have a choice but not to follow their marks hmm. they made me competitive because that's how we grew together as hmm. a group so a lot of it goes back to uh, what I was trying to prove at home to yeah. all my siblings and my father yes. and my mother that I'm a good child and also to the world out there that yes I'm there to be able to rub shoulders with all of you yeah so um, that became a part of me but are you losing out on some sort of a personal authority here uh off late, I've started taking things easy. <laughs> and one of the decision was to leave the corporate world after 20, 23 odd years and start something on my own. Um, you know, do I have to keep running all the time? Or yes. can I take it easy? Not because I want to take it easy, because I want to think, pause, reflect, and then start something from the scratch to build a legacy for the next 38 years. Yeah, I'm at the cusp of my professional career, right? I've spent 20, 25 years. Yeah. There's going to be 25 years ahead of me. I'm in the middle. If I don't take that detour now, hmm. I will never be able to take it in the future. Yeah. So um, it's not easy. Mm. Last 40 days have not been easy ever since I've started my own company. 40 uh, days? It's been 40 days. <laughs> it's like you've just birthed the baby. <laughs> I've just given the birth to a baby. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How about yourself, Sakshi? Where do you... Uh, of course, I hear you when you say that judgment, that canvassing, yeah. you know, that happens yeah. very often and mother's guilt but are there are there other factors in life where you've actually seen you kind of losing control and giving away your personal authority maybe listening in too much to what others are saying or judging about you actually no i haven't because um initially you know i don't know if everybody has noticed ever since the work from home has begun it's very strange and I don't know for some reason mm. <laughs> women working from home are not taken very seriously mm. as men working from home. Mm. I don't know why. You know, it's like if uh, a man is working from home and I'm not going to quote my own example because my husband has always been on the side, he's into construction. So I've not faced that, okay, he's working in one room and I'm working in the other. But I faced it with my friends, you know. Mm. If the husband is working from home and so is she, uh, but agar koi plan banega ya you know if there's some uh, i mean some appointment hmm. only the husband will be asked that you know will you be comfortable should we make this noise should we plan this wife is like you know she, she's not even considered yeah work from home to hai yeah so i don't know this disparity i mean i'm not saying i put it harder upon myself but i feel very bad about it yeah so i'm a voice artist and i have an e-commerce website yes so of course the you know the website is on autopilot you know we run ads people place their order all over India. Couriers come, I only pack them from home. I have the entire warehouse in my home setup. Yeah. And uh, I have my mic set up in my room where yeah. I record my ads and everything. Sometimes in the cupboard. Cupboard. <laughs> there <laughs> the are famous playing, cupboard. <laughs> the famous cupboard. Because there are, you know, kids playing in the park and we are on the ground. So, you know, we can hear that noise. But not even once I have felt, oh, she's working, don't disturb her. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not blaming anybody. But hmm. it's just that because we are home. Mindset. So we are home only. Na? So yeah. it's okay. I feel that judgment is not from my side. It's not an inner guilt. Uh, but I really feel people should, you know, understand that. Yeah, but I think here the responsibility does lie in our own hands too. As much as we 
can and we will make that noise and say that listen my work is equally important it doesn't matter whether it is in my case yeah. that it could be saving someone's yeah. life which is my husband yeah. but i am working it may look very frivolous to sit on instagram and to be posting reels but that exactly. is my work exactly and i better be doing a jolly good job at that right because there is a a, a level of uh, Uh, expectation there's a level of quality that's expected when you are a content creator so i i hear you but i also feel that is this our own personal responsibility to give ourselves that merit importance and then say that listen i'm important and i need to do this my way or this way your take on that i don't think bolne se kuch hoga i don't okay. think it makes a difference because if somebody uh, wants to give you that importance they do in the first go itself so i have i have those people who understand my work but those mm. who don't there's no point mm. and now you know almost i'm i'm going to hit my 40s and now i've reached that stage where you know like aajkal uh, uh, everybody is saying that 2 plus 2 is 5 all right you feel it's 5 yeah. it's 5 yeah. it's 7 you take it hmm. i'm done with proving that no it's four you know i work so hard and i do this and yeah. i do that see i've always tried to put in my best you don't see it tumko nahi dikh raha i know what i'm doing and i know myself and i'm really not and i i'm still trying i'm not saying i've gotten there the harm on settling yeah i i'm i'm still not trying to prove it to you yeah. or justify because if i have to justify then you know it makes no point what's your take on that i think a bit of this comes from the age the moment the clock turned yeah. 40 a mm-hmm. lot of wisdom came a lot of the <laughs> between up till you know 39 a uh, lot of questions were there in the mind some i wanted somebody else to answer them for me the moment i celebrated my birthday and landed on this side of the 40s i realized that all the answers were there with me mm-hmm. i didn't know how to find them mm-hmm. so i'm very relaxed uh, and i haven't turned 40 yesterday so there's been a couple of years <laughs> but i feel very relaxed yeah. i don't feel the need of uh, proving myself to anybody, anybody. because mm-hmm. like i said it's your journey Uh, you are experiencing the troughs and the trials and the tribulations of the yeah. journey nobody else is doing it hmm. whether you're working from the home you're stretching not stretching you're out in the world you're rubbing shoulders with the men hmm. and people are like right hmm. why only h- hold men responsible even you're leading a competitive life with women who have done very well for themselves so um uh, it's it's how you take it hmm. you know i'll take a minute to describe myself and i was thinking this morning that if i have to describe myself how hmm. will i do it hmm. <laughs> very bluntly put i think there are two s's two h's and one c and i'll explain this oh, wow <laughs> that's interesting that sounds interesting <laughs> so it's simple i'm very simple person i'm a very sincere person i'm a very honest person i'm very hard working and i'm very caring that sums me up yeah so beyond that if somebody has to say anything to me doesn't matter as long as i'm sticking to these virtues hmm. that has stayed with me yeah. over the years yeah see what resonates of course in this room is that we are either on on the 40 mark almost <laughs> yeah. or we are on the <laughs> other there. other side yes um women go through a lot uh, not only emotionally at the societal level in terms of conditioning at psychological level physiological level their environments change they get married they move they decide uh, they choose upon they take upon and then there is actually a biological level too so everything goes in the making of that Absolutely. woman who, who and we are today at this at this yeah. stage when you know in and around 40s plus minors most important is the biological issue you know yeah. for um, i mean others it can be all right it's a part of life of yeah. course you have to deal with it but once you're dealing with it you know yes. sometimes it's 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 crazy and i'm thankful that you know the pre menopausal the menopausal the post menopausal yeah. all these things are part of discussions now yeah thankfully you know but you're they talking about these are things. these becoming a part of boardroom uh, leadership discussion and decision making as well are we taking cognizance of the fact that if a woman is coming with this kind of experience if these are the things that she's bringing on board of course she's so equipped so experienced so talented but she could be heading into some emotional mental uh you know phases now and therefore that would have some sort of an impact, yeah, impact on absolutely. her professional uh 
aspect of work have, have yeah. you seen things happening i think the rights have been more than the wrongs so mm. um i'll give you a couple of example people in general men and women both have become sensitive to each other after pandemic Hmm. uh they're very sensitive to the needs on the personal front versus professional front um they're very accommodating so when um last year um my father had to be admitted in the icu for hmm. three weeks hmm. and i was actually operating out of icu icu outside yeah. the icu yeah. from 7:30 a.m. in the morning till 11 um between me and my sister this was while you were still i was working, working yeah. so i had on my laptop i was on your lap <laughs> on my lap <laughs> so my my ecosystem at work was supportive yeah uh, i didn't have to cut corners people understood um i was very conscious that uh, you know uh, we don't know which way the wind is blowing here so do as much as you can yeah and just take the day as it comes yeah uh, likewise i saw some of my male colleagues uh, were going through you know uh, paternal leaves etc etc so they wanted the time off so we understand each other Uh, people are very supportive uh, people are very conscious uh, men are very conscious now that if there is a child born in the family they have to equally participate yeah. Yeah. in yeah. the process yeah. Yeah. and they don't don't shy away telling that they can't make it for the meeting because the wife is away and away. they have to take care of the yes. child yes. i think that's the growth mm. i have seen in the last few years mm. uh, especially after pandemic yeah uh, so that's a very welcoming change mm. and um, i don't i didn't shy away saying Uh, I remember some people were asking me why don't you take the time off. Mm. I said why should I take the time off when I can I'm manage, able to manage. manage it, yeah. At the end of the day hospital gives me only two windows to meet him for 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. For the rest of the time I want to be here because I don't know when he yeah. really need me. Yeah. This is my choice. But at the same time it is my choice to deliver and count me on the delivery. How leave it to me leave it to me yeah. and i yeah. think people understood that people yeah. were very, very supportive yeah do so so that's a very important and very interesting point that you made because that's where even i uh, speak off when i talk about my work or gen- generally like trusting people with work women with work men with work leave the how Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Leave the how, right? Yeah, I mean absolutely. I mean it'll happen it'll when happen. where yeah. what everything will be yeah. delivered yeah. but please leave the how. <laughs> uh, but you know thankfully picking up from where she said that men have understood it's it's very nice and 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 it's a very beautiful change to see also mm-hmm. how uh, you know husbands these days in our generation yes. as fathers they're so hands on. Yes. 99.9% of fathers yeah. are equally hands on with the child's routine. Yeah. And and you know with the studies you know which class or what's going to happen so if you're not away and if the husband informs in office that okay i'm with my child for some coaching yes, or whatever yes it's very valid it's very normal yes, yes. Uh, you know normalizing fathers being as informed and as involved with the child absolutely it's amazing to see that change you know yeah. that's why i say that is we both it's very important to celebrate both, both men and yeah. women because today we've come together yes yeah. yes it, it is the yin and yang it is yeah, meeting it is of the, the forces yang, it yeah. may be yeah. mars and venus but we are existing on earth yeah. together yeah. <laughs> and you know both carry their strengths yes. and both carries the areas that they can work upon yes. so one yes. cannot be held against other hmm. um like i said caring comes more with women hmm. uh, a bit of more accountability comes with men when hmm. it comes to harder tasks hmm. and it's fine i mean yeah. there is a limit to which you can do yeah there's a limit to which they can do as yeah. long as that understanding is there um equation works yeah. and there's no bravado to oh my god i'll prove it i'm yeah. I, i'm on my own yeah. and I, yes i can buy myself flowers but it'll be nice to <laughs> yeah <laughs> receive, <laughs> receive it from somebody receive yeah. it from That's somebody it's too. fine you yeah. know why do we have to prove it to the world yeah no that's okay as long as in this big world your small tiny world yeah. you have that understanding yeah and that trust and respect you know mm. i really feel that love you know you don't love each other all day every day mm. I, i don't mm. yeah but we respect each other all day every day so yeah. as long as that doesn't change yes love can be managed yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> that is there that's there but respect and bollywood are you listening things have to change <laughs> things have to change yeah, you know yeah no and 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 uh, interesting because again as a mother i actually this year i told my husband that now from this year onward 
you will be a part of those whatsapp mommy groups <laughs> where oh, you that i haven't added oh god where, no where you receive all birthday invites <laughs> you get all class reminders no and yeah. and yeah, interesting ha, there are no fathers yeah. by the way yeah. no no now interestingly we are seeing that shift also yeah. i'm sure as our will grow you will see <laughs> yes. that happening to them even at birthday happen. parties that the the father is actually walking in with yeah. the child rather than yeah. it's always so many mom. times so many yeah. times i had a friend who was expecting another child up so for the final 3 4 months last trimester i could see only the father. only the father yeah. and it's nice and thankfully you know it's not oh my god yes it's not a surprise anymore that yes. is the best part it's yes. not a surprise it's very normal yeah. mm. normalizing I'll, men being equally uh, you know involved yeah so i'll give you one great. example i was managing a large team in my previous job just previous job um and um, i gathered all the women together and i said let's do a session about um, more personal things about learning from each other etc so i held a two hour session with all the women mm. uh we were 50 55 people mm. um all in the room um the session was very well received a lot of personal questions came my way a lot of people wanted to know my journey etc uh and i think it was a roaring success mm. and the one of the yardstick of the success of that session was after the session men came to me Yeah. Why are you holding a session only for the women? Yes. Uh, why aren't you holding the session for yes. us? Yes. I said, okay. I not that I've consciously left you out, but gathering a group of women is much easier because you come from the same thought process. Thought process, yeah, and yeah. it's easy to talk about it because people would want to know. It's not all rosy. There are hardships. People mm-hmm. want to know. Mm-hmm. um and i would have loved to have you if you were interested to listen to us mm-hmm. but i knew that women would be more keen so but the hard part for me was to decide the topic for the men yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which can hold all of them together, together. so it's it's about um, you know we may be assuming things for people yes. or men which may not be the case actually and it is not a coincidence just as you say that and mention it this year's international women's day campaign uh is actually hashtag #inspire inclusion so inclusion is not about getting genders together inclusion about even that conversation that why yeah. are we talking women day only with women so yeah. guys if we are listening <laughs> we must definitely have uh, yes. men also on the panel yes. for yeah. the yes. unbound yes. special so popularly <laughs> said uh, proverbially <clears throat> proverbially said uh, behind every successful man there is a woman who is behind the success of a woman uh, you want yeah yeah please uh you know um, see takes a battalion i'm not joking i'm not i'm not one of those women who has made it on her own no sometimes my uh, my colleagues were my support sometimes you know and actually if i have to go back a little uh i come from a family where all the women have always been working so that's the environment i've seen yeah. like my you know my grandmother's generation she finished her studies after getting married to you know the mm. bhat family mm. and her sister in law taught her because that time she was the professor in college so she used to make 50 chapatis for a joint family finish off dinner 12 o'clock sit in the balcony study 5 o'clock leave for school so i have heard these stories wow and all my fathers buas they have been either lawyers or professors or principals up of course the men are all working but i have never seen any woman at home and with all your respect of course it's great there is no big work than running a house 24/7 but at the same time we have always been wired that you know you have you have to work you have to matlab isme koi choice nahi that you don't personal have personal aspiration has yeah, to be there yeah. yeah so in my growing years my grandparents were behind me you know to you know uh, i mean drill it in my head while i was finishing my studies my father was very strict about career he said do whatever you want stand on your feet and then enjoy the world uh, you know i bunked my school i went to priyas to you know see public demand if you remember yeah. i still remember this story mm-hmm. where mahima choudhary and roshan abbas had a mic in their hand <laughs> and and they were covering you know thing and i bunked and i came back home and i got the thrashing of my life <laughs> and he said priya jana hai hold the mic i should see an i card in your neck proudly go don't bunk and hide like this 
so i'm like yeah so that time it was you yeah, know him yeah it was goosebumps yeah. <laughs> yeah so it you know there are some things mm. which get stuck in your head yeah. so probably that you know media pass and the mic was always stuck in my head mm. and now it's my husband and my in-laws my in-laws are also very supportive of my mother-in-law mm. is one of the most touch wood god bless her she's one of the more uh, most inspirational people mm. in my life like she, you know she's working she's social she's doing so many things mm. at this age and then my husband is always supportive mm. of my career mm. so right now yeah yeah it's him uh, but it takes a group of all these people, people you know and right now to uh, you know do well in my career or whatever i'm i'm able to manage i would say the best career uh, decision i've taken is to marry the right guy <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know all those bachpan ka work and everything yeah. so he resonates with the same mindset yes. and now is still you know there yeah. so there's no ki okay i will allow you or i will support you yeah. it's a done thing i work you work yeah. why aren't you working it's yeah. like that yeah so i'm like i'm taking a day off he's like no move <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah how about you preeti do who is really <clears throat> at that end of the spectrum those line of people circumstances events communities <clears throat> or your own ecosystem that has really led to your growth and success in life i think i would bucket this into three categories and that pretty much sums up the world for me yeah uh, one is of course the home the family the massive support that i got right from my childhood till mm. now they're very supportive we've been a nuclear family we've taken care of each other we never we were six people uh, when my mother was alive now we are five okay we never needed a seventh person ever in my growing years i mean uh, hard it may sound or easy it may sound we were so um, we are so well connected with each other that uh, we Beautiful. don't feel the need of mm. looking outside for any uh, motivation inspiration mm. etc mm-hmm. that's part number 1 and and my father my mother they have been great supporter of us becoming uh independent firmly mm. on the ground right mm. from the childhood the, i don't remember we being told um anything except find your feet mm. yeah. every single day so that stayed the second is i have a 23 years of work ex mm. imagine the number of people that i have worked with and uh, met all of them in any capacity in every capacity has shaped me as a woman as a professional the people who um uh you know uh, like the work i did or like what i br- brought on the table have helped me strengthen my strengths yeah you know they have sharpened my strengths the people who critiqued me because of any reason <laughs> oh, not <yes>. because <laughs> not because it could be difference in frequency it could be difference in yes. wavelength yeah. the depth uh it could be anything yeah but i think they helped me more because what i wasn't able to willing to recognize as a shortcoming it came on my face yeah. through those set of people so it helped me even overcome the challenges that i was facing i'm not saying i'm perfect i no think all of us are work in pro- work in progress throughout absolutely, absolutely. till the end yes yeah. till, till the, the end. end so uh, that's the second mix yeah. the third is i realized it subconsciously and i worked on it you need to have a people not many people but some people who act as a advisors to you mm-hmm. they could be any age so i have some friends through my work and otherwise who can be reached for advice that you can't get from your family and you can't get from professional world okay right so you i've made a a bunch of my personal advisors yeah and vice versa i would be personal advi- advisor to many of them where uh, you know uh, if you have a group of these people around you mm-hmm. i think you can overcome any challenge and the rest is you have a mind mm-hmm. you have a heart <laughs> which acts as a good sounding board to yourself mm-hmm. so a combination of all of this has helped me beautiful very well it's said. crazy you yeah. know that there are so many people in our lives like for example uh, you know once we were doing a podcast and i was on the way but in a very bad mood you know sometimes you you know yeah. you're not in the good mood yeah. so that time my friends yeah you know i would call my girls and get it out of my system they would say it doesn't matter it's okay we are with you are you will kill it you will be great <laughs> so of course they are behind me yeah. you know you know to yeah. uplift me that day yeah. sometimes you're about to enter a conference hall uh, and there's a cleaning lady you know mm-hmm. and you're really i'm sorry and you're really stressed yeah. and, and and she says good morning didi aaj acche lag rahe ho ab you know she just made my day yeah. just like that yeah. so there are so many people in yeah. various parts of our lives who've touched our lives in different ways yeah. and in different stages 
who have helped. So whether yeah. it's our friends and family, our neighbors, you know, now social media helps <laughs> because you you know you see. Uh, I mean, you you seek inspiration from others who are doing so well, yeah. and of course, I completely agree. The with, naysayers, yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely, the naysayers. You know, those who have said that you can't do it, thank you so much, because if you didn't, I would have been very complacent. But because you thought I couldn't, <laughs> yeah. kill it, kill it, <laughs> love, love the vibe, girls. No, no, literally, I mean. Uh, these are the invisible contributors to our success yeah, and, and so many times yeah. not so consciously maybe we are even imbibing or being present to it but so many times subconsciously all of this is working towards our success in that day in that moment yeah so if you would like to invite someone who is an unstoppable human or would just want to have a conversation with me write to me at unboundwithmamta at gmail.com that is u-n-b-o-u-n-d-w-i-t-h-m-a-m-t-a-a at gmail.com you can also follow my Instagram at the rate mamta podcaster that is m-a-m-t-a-a podcaster stirred maybe but definitely not shaken these are the women these are the power women and they are here today on Unbound Specials with me. Welcome back, Sakshi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, what is that really stirs you sometimes? Oh. Maybe not if it shakes you. <laughs> and, but you've always seen yourself unbound from there. Uh, you know, it's within myself. It's the unproductiveness. So sometimes, you know, there are some days where you know, today I don't feel like working. Okay, ek din ho gaya. Then the, you know, another day also. Just don't feel like doing anything. Sometimes on Mondays because I work from home. Yeah. And Saturday, Sunday is always very hectic with family and everything. I like to take <coughs> two, three hours of Monday off. Hmm. But agar wo, if it gets on to Tuesday and sometimes Thursday, sometimes you're not in the mood. Because as a voice artist, you know, every time to say, Aaj hi kari diye. Oh my God, <laughs> sunera mocha. You, you're not in the zone to talk like this yeah, sometimes. Wo, but then after those three, four days, you know, when I introspect wala phase, aa jata hai, then I'm like, no, no, let's get to work. Get to I work. haven't done anything. I've been unproductive. The guilt of being unproductive, yeah. that stirs me. Yeah. yeah. What about you, baby? I've been thinking of this uh, question for a while now <laughs> since you asked. I think what stirs me is um, I'm very reciprocative. If somebody comes to me for something, I'm very instantaneous. Hmm. Um, maybe there's an expectation of an equal hind in hindsight. Okay. So if somebody is not able to come to me and uh, there is a silence, there is lack of communication, hmm. that stirs me a bit. Yeah. But I think I've learned to take it easy. Mm -hmm. not be too hard on myself and mm -hmm. on others mm -hmm. and uh, I let it go but yeah. but I think uh, one of the key things for me is communicate good bad ugly but communicate yeah that's essential yeah. yeah so what are your unbound moments in life like something which completely sets you on a freewheeling maybe we'll start with you and then come yeah to you. sure I love to do two or three things as a routine and a ritual every day and mm. I picked it up during pandemic okay. and I don't think I can let it go one is get up in the morning after settling. Uh, then I do my meditation and yoga mm. or exercise, you may call it. And in the evening, I have to go for a jog and a run. Okay. Uh, and I journal. So another piece of advisors to me is now become my journal for the last. Uh, there is there is some preference I have, mm. if I may say, for lack of a better word right now, that I want my book to be written. Okay. Oh, wow. I may not have achieved much in my life, yeah. but mm. there is an innate desire that in some point in time a book should be written on me I'm trying to capture because I won't be able to remember everything hmm. uh, because the mind usually yeah. it's free yeah so um, I have always been a part of the corporate world and now because I resigned uh, so from the day I resigned till now it's been two months maybe a little more than two months I've been writing every day because oh, I nice. don't want any thought any feeling any emotion any experience to go unnoticed so I'm writing it down that if I have to pick up a chapter of this in my life, in a book in the future, somebody should be able to refer it. Oh, wow. So that's that's really helping me. And uh, sometimes I don't feel the need of any other person because mm. everything is coming out on the paper yeah. by the end of the day. Yeah. So that really eases me out. Yeah. One thing I learned, um, Mamta, is uh, don't keep this heavy. Put mm. it down. 
mm. if you don't have anybody to talk to put it down mm. let this be free let it be an opening balance as a nil <laughs> in the morning during the day let yeah, the transactions the happen talking, yeah. <laughs> and the closing balance can be but I've, if you can take the closing balance out and keep it empty it's the best wow. medicine that's quite a balance sheet you're maintaining <laughs> up God. there beautiful it how is. about you <laughs> Well, my uh, unbounding moments in unbounding life. Unbounding moments, you know. To be very honest, like you know, like you said, it's the, we have one thing very much in common, is like even I'm a yoga person and yeah. I love my power yoga forty five minutes in the morning. We are three friends. We do it together, mm. you know, with a trainer. Mm. And those forty five fifty minutes are, you know, uh, strangely not many people know. Only people who do yoga they believe in it and know that all the other forms of exercises they burn your energy. Mm. Yoga produces energy. Mm. So I feel. feel very very nice and very alive charged yeah. very charged yes i don't i don't miss my evening 45 minute uh, you know brisk walk as well because i mean that's another phase yeah. of catching up with friends and then doing your yeah. rounds you know that's mm. like a pattern mm. i love to follow a pattern monday to friday but mm. i love to break through on a weekend mm. like i don't want to sleep at 10 o'clock on a friday like night how? like how <laughs> because you know i want to take that break yeah. recharge enjoy chill yeah. you know dance party or watch a nice movie watch a movie marathon for you know from 12 at mm. night to 3 mm. but i like to take that break mm. break the chain and then recharge back on a monday morning yeah. because Wait. if i will not take that break Every day will be a weekday. Every day yeah. will be yeah. a Monday. Yeah. And then um, you detox. Can you get a little intox? To can you? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you you have to engage in a non-routine state. You know. Yeah. Then you enjoy the routine back. And because after Sunday, who psychologically, you know, you mm. feel that now I want routine back in my life. Yeah. That's how we are conditioned. Yeah. And then my happiest place is my mic. You know, when mm-hmm. I'm not doing voiceovers, I I love music. I mm. love music. I love to sing. In fact, my husband and I bond over music a lot because even mm. he sings and also that mm. we've made medleys and all during lockdown. But otherwise, also, mm. I read scripts on the mic, listen to them, mm. you know, enact scenes from various shows and all. This mm. is my mic. Is my happiest place yeah. on this earth. Mic is back in your life, mic and we are so glad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So in that case, tell me something that really ties you, especially fear. what is your maybe if i can oh say the biggest fear in life is it fair to say at some point in time you become fearless because um, what is fear fear is an anxiety of an uncertainty right mm. uh, or maybe sometimes even um, you want to control things your way and when they don't go as planned yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing yeah. goes as per plan so i'll stop planning <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you believe me um, like i think i was telling you in the break earlier i never wanted to do the course which i landed up doing in my graduation i never wanted to be working in a certain geography in delhi i landed up my first job being there so many 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 years back i realized there's no point planning because things will life will take its own turn and you will only ruminate or you will only have a miss expectation of from yourself um <clears throat> but um uh, that's what it is I yeah mean, yeah what about you sakshi i don't know after becoming a mother mm. all the fears are attached to my child i mean the fear of me not yeah. being around my child some day yeah you know i've always felt that you know i wo hota hai na when you're praying or whatever that dear god you know keep my child safe i pray for myself also keep me hail and hearty till my child needs me mm. chalo 18 tak ho jaye uske baad if something has to happen to me mm. I, you know i want to be there with my child the fear of not being able to hold him i i want him to fall and learn and you know be on his own but just the fear of not mm. being around him it just yeah. you know gives so me so motherhood is palpable yeah, yeah. yeah all Absolutely. the time he he is my he is my strength also but my biggest weakness weakness yeah. too so in that case are there any biases you've seen yourself breaking through from anything that you've held for yourself far too long you've Conversed and talk yourself into it. कि नहीं यार ये तो मैं या मैं तो ऐसे या मैं वो नहीं. Have you really seen yeah. that pattern and then you've seen breaking of that pattern? Yeah, I think um, you hold on to your beliefs over a long period of time, and sometimes things doesn't turn out the way things turn out, right? Mm. Uh, I would never let go of my belief earlier, but I've started letting go of my belief and revisit them and uh, mm. start taking new beliefs because. It's fine. Everything is evolving. So, so why should you? ये fearlessness forty के बाद आई है. बिल्कुल. 
मैं पहले बहुत डरती थी मैं मुझे फियर ऑफ अनोन या फियर ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी था बट आई रियलाइज दैट एवरीथिंग इज अनसर्टेन बियॉन्ड अ पॉइंट हाउ मच कैन यू कंट्रोल यू कॉन्ट कंट्रोल एनीथिंग सो आई स्टार्टेड लिविंग इन द मोमेंट लिविंग बाय द डे एंड आई रीसेट द क्लॉक एवरी मॉर्निंग ब्यूटीफुल एंड वट एवर हैपन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक आई वॉज गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हॉस्पिटल स्टे फॉर टू मंथ्स लास्ट ईयर इट वॉज इंट वी डेंट सी इट कमिंग इट जस्ट हैपन सो यू जस्ट manage your way through uh, that's what happened i never thought my mother would ever leave me but mm. she left us one day so uh, you start taking things differently yeah yeah lot of wisdom there <laughs> how about you said i don't know never mm. thought into this very deeply i'll be very honest yeah. but like but do you, you take... see yourself doing something which you've not done because you thought you'll never be able to actually, do actually you know i I I would like to take you to a very very simple thing like yeah. you know before becoming mothers again the mommy mommy in me is mm. awake but uh, you know I I will bring up my child like this no TV not at all screen time not at all I'll be engaging I'll make these games and all you know kia ek saal do saal but <laughs> beyond a point I've given up yeah. because we we are also of course you know you realize that yes we have plan kids late jab you know grandparents and our elders when they say plan you know on a time yeah. there is some sense to this madness there is because your patient's level your recovery level mm, yeah. everything changes and mm. everything is delayed now yeah. i don't have the patience you know to play with my child for more than 1 hour or 2 hour then yeah. a 25 year old might yeah. or i don't have the energy and stamina to run foot uh, and you know and play football, football with him yeah so i have broken that i mean there's nothing too deep into this but yeah if i'm working or if i'm you know is busy with my own thing okay you want to watch tv just watch it's okay <laughs> 15 days of holiday half the january delhi schools are shut because of winters <laughs> what are you going to do mm. so yeah that is something so you I, have I've let go I've that let go. expectation from go. yourself and right? i don't blame myself also yeah. i am unapologetic it's okay yeah it's you know, okay i'm sorry but yeah. i i do want to acknowledge this i have a fear of height you height. take me to the first level and i look down <laughs> and i'll be petrified for whatever reason yeah you know these these days there are lifts which are transparent lifts oh and they're God, on the outside scary. <laughs> it's scary those are scary um once i took care of my fear which was deep down there from my childhood and perhaps because of an incident that happened in the childhood yeah. i was very scared of water okay. very scared of water yeah but i learned swimming mm. and i took that fear out so i think mm. uh, over a period of time you learn to face the fear head on and yeah, yeah. find a mechanism, mechanism to, to it that's it. the whole idea that uh, even if you see yourself trapped in a pattern of a fear yeah. your response mechanism then you kind of identify and thread it out that yaar kya hai isme se zyada se zyada kya ho jayega ye ho jayega ye to anyway ho jayega but i haven't been able to crack the height crack of the, height the, height, thing. the fear height i'm yeah. sure when once you will scale new yeah. heights in life you will be <laughs> definitely <laughs> fearless <laughs> i feel uh, you know after a after a certain age yes we do find the courage to face it probably because we get the right anchor hmm it makes a huge difference you know hmm. probably when we were growing up say you're in a boarding school there are some things you know you couldn't do there are some decisions you couldn't take hmm. now yes at this age of course with the you know maturity and all i i can but mm. maybe i have the right anchors also to support me yeah. or to fall back on yeah that makes a yeah. huge difference so yeah. again i feel nothing we can do just on our own i feel yeah. there are always energies you know i would call it energy yeah. you, it can be a feeling it can be a person yeah. it can be a situation you know karo ya maro wala situation bhi ho sakta hai to aap wo kar jao jo aapne kabhi nahi kiya yeah and i think it's so a, it's, it's a, although nobody is asking me unsolicited advice but no no i would like to ask you aap aap kya kehna chahenge nahi main yahi kehna chahungi ki shayad ye human evolution ka bahut hi basic response hai ki aap jo is moment mein the ya ho aap agle moment mein kuch aur banna chahoge you would want to keep evolving you would want to keep learning you would want to keep breaking the pattern you would want to keep running with the flow because yeah, you yeah. have so many new places yeah. to discover yeah. and i think that wisdom comes when you sit in a place of reflection and say ki yaar it's been far too long i've held to this ab mujhe dekhna hai ki us side pe kya hai yeah changes and, only yeah. constant and of say. course then yeah. then there is coming of the forces the minute you intended the minute you will it so to your question i can respond that the minute you would really want to leave that fear because maybe that's become a comfort space for you yeah the minute you would will it it will happen 
Yeah, I, I don't think I'm working on it, but yeah. 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 Or maybe when you have to do it. Yeah. When Or you'll be no put in a circumstance. You no choice. choice. Don't even say that. When, <laughs> when life gives One you no choice, you tend to do things. One thing in the day comes true, don't even say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> We call and delete, yeah. <laughs> so, some of the fearless, some of the absolute unabashed women who have led a way for you in your life. Oh. Hmm. I would start with uh, my psychology professor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she has been my idol. Um, uh, my psychology professor, Shweta Ma'am. She's like the friend philosopher guide in mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. You know, path breaking views, opinions. You know, she has very few. I was just telling her, you know, during our break time that very few people have seen us make mistakes. Hmm. We don't make mistakes in front of a lot of people. Yeah. We, we, we don't say, yes, I'm guilty. I've done it mm -hmm. and judge me up. So I have made, uh, you know, mistake, you know, because when you're in school and college and all, yeah, you're all sure. in that growing stage. Kabhi maas nahi aai, kabhi kuch. Nee, mistakes to hongi yeah. Bina yeah. Yeah. Kaise learning hongi. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. at this stage, when we're all mothers and we are entering our forties, we mm. all have that perfect persona. Mm. So she has seen me in my worst. Hmm. I mean, you know, during the, and till now, I mean, till now, if I have a breakdown moment or if I don't know where, you know, sometimes, you know, the answers Lost. you want somebody to tell you, hmm. but sometimes there is no way out. So she has, she's blessed and I'm sure she's an anchor for a lot of her students, yeah. but she's blessed to find a positive in everything. I don't know how wow. she does it. So she has really made me believe in me that you can do this, you can do this, you have the yeah. caliber. Oh my God, and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So she's one of those yeah. uh, very, very inspiring women. Yeah. Of course, your parents are there. My grandmother, yeah. always, she worked till, you know, very, very late. Mm -hmm. Now my mother-in-law is, yeah. is my source of inspiration. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Preeti? I think my mom has been the pillar of strength for me. I have just loved her the way she was when she was there. Very simple, very sincere, very compassionate, um, very selfless. Mm -hmm. um, she would be unflinched with mm -hmm. any adversity of life. Completely unflinched. I didn't know how did she do it. Um, if I could be 1% of what she was, I think um, this lifetime would be successful for me. Wow. So she has an indelible mark on me. Uh, she has left me with a lot of big void to fill. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, my new company mm -hmm. um, is in loving memory of my mother. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Tell us about tell us oh, about nice. that journey also, please. So um, I think a couple of years back, um, I wanted to give back to my parents who have made such a big difference to me. So I wanted to start, I was undecided, should I do it for my father for politically correct reason or should I do it for my mother, <laughs> mm. given the elder, uh, he being the elder. But I thought I loved my mother way too much. Yeah. I love my dad, <laughs> but uh, I think I loved her too much. Yeah. And uh, how could I give it back to her in this lifetime? Mm. So I came up with, uh, I said, I want to start something of my own. And this company of uh, the new company that I've coined is called Prisha Wealth Management Private Limited. Uh, how do I associate her with this? Uh, so I spend almost a month, month and a half thinking about what name should I give this to the company? Okay. And I still have that diary in which I wrote almost like 7,500 names. What? And uh, my 7,500 names to come out with because I wanted it to be the perfect. And somewhere in between, I created a cocktail of my name and my mother's name. Yeah. And that's how Prisha came. Oh. So Prisha, Pre stands for my name and SHA stands for my mother's name, Sharda. So that's how it came up. And uh, the rest, 75 or 99 didn't matter to me after that. Mm -hmm. So this is a, you know, she's looking. Um, if I'm, I'm, I hope I've made her happy. Hmm. And I'll make her more happy if I can make this as a success in the coming years. We are absolutely, absolutely sure, sure about yes, this and much more. Best, yeah. And to scaling many, many new yeah. heights for you to get to that level of uh, happiness and soaring it. So what about uh, you, Sakshi? Any, anyone in the family or any, it could be even a fictional character for all you know, it could be even an author, living or dead, who has inspired you on your journey? Uh, Are you a reader? Do you do you like to read? I'm not much of a reader. reader. I I find my inspiration in movies. To be very yeah? honest, yeah. Any character? I mean, uh, I, I mean, not exactly character. Of course, everybody talks about you know Rajesh Khanna. 
you know their you know zindagi lambi nahi you know aise honi chahiye ye haseen honi chahiye khoobsurat honi chahiye khoobsurat honi chahiye and all of that i you know uh, i mean sushmita sen you know the way she carries herself the way she's been unabashedly mm. you know unapologetically herself yeah you know the way she's like even in movies you know i really look up to her as a woman Mm. Uh, you know uh, like taking a decision of adopting two daughters at yeah. certain age and living life on your own terms. terms it's not easy we all want to we all want to do whatever we want to do but it's not easy yeah so yeah but i find my you know my inspiration changes to be very honest mm. it might not be a very common thing which is fine yeah. you know sometimes a small child you know sometimes my son inspires me mm. it's amazing how kids love us unconditionally, unconditionally. you know hame koi uh, you know somebody's rude to us hmm. or does not listen to us or whatever we f- hold that grudge as grown ups you know but we i might lose it on my child some day but all he wants in the end of the day he'll just come and give me a tight hug <laughs> or you have a long day you come back home he inspires me my son arav is he's very sensitive he's mm. a very sensitive child mm. and it's strange that you know one day i'm like oh i love you and all you know normal mother <laughs> you know and son cuddly talks and he's like mama you know i can't exist without you oh he's six <laughs> so it's just that kids sometimes say yeah. such big things that yeah. you realize that pearls of wisdom my god we have a big responsibility and they are looking at us and growing yeah so and they say you know kids don't listen they follow they follow absolutely so he inspires me a lot sometimes yeah really. anyone who has been a personal inspiration to you in terms of maybe an author writer maybe a bollywood star any character who oh, lots of them uh, mm-hmm. mamta i think i'm i'm not very fond of fiction okay in general mm-hmm. so i think i have grown up reading a lot of autobiographies and biographies mm-hmm. anybody who has been someone mm-hmm. has gone through lots of lots of ups and downs mm-hmm. and um, i was trying to figure out mm-hmm. answers for my own question by reading those books mm-hmm. so uh, those have been my inspirations apart yeah. from obviously the family and the friends yeah Yeah. So this kind of sums up our journey about yes. being unbound, about being an abashed, being unstoppable in the circumstances, life and event where you are. But before we come to the wrap, there is a special fireside chat or a rapid reflex round as Ooh. I like to call it. <laughs> So this is um, just a curation of uh, you know quick volley of questions I'm going to throw on each of you uh, maybe one question to you and one to you or would you want to s- answer the same question with your own thing however however yeah, yeah. suits I mean, however. okay so the same question and you could be giving your answers try and limit it to one word maximum a oh. sentence so are you ready for this yeah, it's easier to watch it on a tv fire. like yeah, this no, it's, it's much easier to watch it on tv but yeah no no we'll make Let's it see. we'll make it fun Let's for you so never have you ever just complete this sentence sakshi oh god <laughs> gives me a little time forged a signature okay never yeah i guess the same no you can't copy <laughs> i can't <that. laughs> um <coughs> Lots of things. I can't pick one. <laughs> pick any. Um, bunk classes. Wow. Really? Never, ever, ever bunk classes. Okay. Never. Wow. No judgments. Wow. All right. Life to you is just one word. Trying. Every day. Been there, done that. Okay. If not doing what you're doing right now, what would you be? I would love to be uh, acting on theater stage. I would love to be back in my theater days. Okay. I think I have only been wanting to lead something. So um, one of the dreams that I've seen for years together is to lead a bank. Ooh. If I wasn't running my own company, then eventually my path would have been to lead a bank in the coming years. Inshallah But, to yeah. that also. Yeah. All right. One thing that is a must do first thing in the morning for you. Kiss my son. Oh. Hold him tight. Say good morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try to snooze my button. I put three <laughs> alarms in the morning and I don't think so I get up even on the third one uh, because I sleep very late and I've got less hours of sleep. So every morning perpetually I would snooze, snooze and snooze. <laughs> okay. One thing which is a must do as a as a bedtime ritual. Uh pray. Pray. I mean it can be a 30 second thank you also, but just just 30 second quiet. Yeah, I make sure that my dad is tucked up very nicely in mm. the bed and I say a goodbye to him 
then i do spend a lot, lot of hours reading and studying something okay uh, but one of the days like she mentioned you need to unwind yourself mm. i think sunday is my cheat day mm. where i not only watch an ott but also dive into some spoons of ice cream that's a must oh, wow <laughs> there's nothing like midnight binging yeah. there's nothing like binge one binge. guilty pleasure you have allowed yourself oh <laughs> maggi and how it's it's matlab you know everybody has their own versions of yeah. maggi but it is the happiest breakfast ever yeah yeah i think i would go buy ice cream like i said i'm really fond of ice cream and um, every sunday no matter what throughout uh, you know we we've, we've seen delhi winters they're becoming acute over the period of time yeah. but i picked this had it habit up a year year and a half back not a single day goes by not a single sunday goes by where i don't take an ice cream even in peak winters oh my god but then i supplement it with hot water or a hot <laughs> coffee after that eventually just to make yeah. sure that uh, yeah the system is well. good yeah. all right so you already stolen my next question i was about to ask food to you is <laughs> oh food to is reason to live <laughs> Oh my god I live to eat I don't eat to live mm. absolutely and my uh, you know it's so strange about food like my best friend's mother you, I have lived with her for the longest time while I was in Jaipur and you know working and she used to always scold her she's a fitness freak Ganga aunty I don't know if you're listening <laughs> but and she would always scold both of us you know that you both don't exercise khana 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 all the time and I'm like you know and she would scold it and she would say I know you like food and I prompt her I said I don't like I love food. <laughs> she still remembers and laughs about it. She said like, I've never seen somebody jo daant ke beech mein correct karega ki it's not just a <laughs> like liking. <laughs> it's the love of food. Love. So yes, I yeah. love. I think you? I have to admit I'm complete opposite of her. I never used to like food mm. simply because it would intervene in the process of studying or working oh my yeah. god so for me it was completely the opposite and uh, but how do you describe it food to you is one word uh, what did you say life? distraction no no no, 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 no. <laughs> you distra- yeah it is a complete distraction I would say life. yeah uh, i guess i eat to live mm. to that extent not live to eat mm. uh, but in pandemic i also picked up a very good healthy habit mm. um, i reduced a bit and mm. i it's very hard to sustain it hmm. so for sustenance less food is good all right uh, fun cool. to you is music hmm. music and your closest closest people hmm. you know it can be closest family members or your core you know core okay yeah that's fine how about you fun many to- things but i think i quite like the five star five star ad i'm not propagating that do nothing okay yeah, that's luxury That's, that's luxury. luxury. Yeah. So oh. I do find for a day. Yeah. Home Finding to time. you is uh my family. Just us. Just us. Mm. I think heaven. <laughs> All right. And just on the wrap up, one inspiring note that you would like to leave our viewers, men, women, everyone on the block. Change makers, leaders, everyone. be financially independent hmm. it can be no, you know it it need not be in millions or whatever you know we're not counting numbers here but just do something find your passion do something on your own it's very important to have spaces between your togetherness and to find that space in your work and that's your space only yours nobody's hmm. there hmm. and it's your accomplishment you know you love yourself doing that hmm. it's something you've target you know you've set a target for yourself Yeah. It's very important, you know, in today's day and age, gone are the days mm. wo zamana nikal gaya jab chal jata tha. Hmm. You know, it's very important with all due respect to those who aren't or those who are not able to. I'm sure people have their own many reasons, many yeah. reasons. Yeah. We have to have our own workspace. What about you, Preeti? One inspiring quote or thought you would like to leave Can us? Can I give you two? Yeah. Uh, they're kind of bonus. Work, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the kind of work uh, in parallel for me. Be the change you want to see. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, nobody is going to drive the change for you but yourself. Absolutely. Be that uh, torch bearer. And the second is um, never take no for an answer. Everything in this life has a solution. You just have to figure it out. Yeah. Totally. And I think with that, you two have brilliantly come unbound, unbound on the show, unbound on the special. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. all your journeys, your challenges, your fears, and totally being this bindas, unfiltered leaders. We have really learnt a lot from you today. 
any good word for the show Mama. or me <laughs> yes for you for you you have conducted this brilliantly like always but you know i i always tell mamta we've been associated work wise before you know you like meeting some people you enjoy meeting some people you have fun meeting some people but it's therapeutic to meet you you Aww. have some energy Ooh. that feels yes <laughs> no but on a very serious note you know one yeah. feels nice cleansed peaceful mm. zen you know i know there's no mask you know above this mm. so it's always a pleasure always a pleasure meeting you and oh, of sweet. course collaborating with something like this i'm very honored and thankful for you to consider me for a, an episode like this Absolutely. i i hope Our if we can pleasure. you know <laughs> motivate one person one yeah. life i think we've done something yeah. in our life yeah. so and yeah. thank you i think it's all about learning from thank each other thank you for the yeah. acknowledgement you know everyone yes loves yeah. so thank you yeah you are doing a brilliant job <laughs> both of you leading the change and making the change that we really want to see and inspiring us so preeti any good word would be nice yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> this is our first uh, rendezvous and i'm sure many more to come uh, you have been a really nice lady women uh, partner uh, all this while mamta you've done a fantastic job with us thank you taming us down for the last one hour almost like one hour <laughs> more than that getting the best out of us and i think um, uh, you bring a lot on the table in terms of uh, um, you know collaborations and um, making us shine it's all because of you oh thank if you so we, much if I, this episode shines right yeah, no <laughs> really i mean the spotlight is always on you on yeah. the guests who comes here and that's the whole idea even to curate this series the idea is to learn to inspire each other and let's be with the vibe and the tribe that yeah. we love right as you said the spotlight is on us it's a very difficult and a brave task to put the spotlight and the crown from yours to somebody else yeah. and i get you do it with so much perfection and with so much grace it's not Thank easy you. Thank you, you 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 yourself are such a big achiever <laughs> and you're on the mic you're an anchor a host but it's It's not very easy to you know praise others all the time no. and you do it genuinely and so nice and thank you so thank much you. it all comes from the heart like i said yeah. there is no script there is nothing yeah. that i can really go one back one take one day <laughs> one day <take>. and of <laughs> course it is the team i think yes. the warmth and thank the love you. that everybody thank brings you. in it's yeah. it's everybody's passion thank you thank can you. we thank have you. unbound let's keep unbounding together let's, let's say that let's keep unbound One, two, three. Let's, Let's keep, keep unbounding, unbounding together. 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 Preeti, we Sorry. want you. Okay, <laughs> you can cut this. One, I was two, focusing three. on the sign. Let's go. Let's, Let's keep, keep unbounding, unbounding together. together. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. And for all the episodes, you can come back to Unbound with Mamta. Now available on twenty plus audio streaming platforms: Spotify, Amazon, Ghana, iTunes. Google Podcasts or wherever else you get your audio we are also available on YouTube at the Boss Hub channel so keep unbounding together